Hey guys, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. So I was able to get a decent angle here in the bathroom. Um, I'm going to have actually quite a bit of bathroom content coming up soon just because I have several different videos that I want to share with you guys. I do have some beauty product reviews and things of that nature that I really want to share as well as a couple of supplements with you. And so I will be doing a few of these bathroom style videos trying to get different angles but again I live in a small place I don't want to wake everybody up and unfortunately um very very late at night or the middle of the night is one of the only times I have to be undisturbed and do content so um I'm trying to upload upload some more longer form content because it's been a while since I have so um I think it's been over two weeks now since I've actually done like a longer form video there we go. So today's video is going to be about a thyroid supplement that I finished recently and I really liked it. So it is by Habit and Habitat and it is just called Thyroid Plus Gummies. So these are thyroid hormone support gummies and um First off, I definitely want to start by saying I feel like this is a pretty good high quality product and even down to the way that it tastes and the ingredients, um, I really do recommend it overall. And so for those of you that don't know, I will reiterate, I do have subclinical hypothyroidism. Um, I basically just have really high antibodies. My um, TSH my T3 and 4 usually stay pretty normal or at least barely within range or very close to in range without prescription medication but um, I do have to supplement if I do not my levels will go out of whack and um, I don't want that so I do like to take natural supplements because I feel like that is a good alternative to taking the prescription. I am not against taking the prescription. As a matter of fact, I am. I have been somewhat on and off of lilithyroxine um, since 2021. So I've been able to stay off of it most of that time, but, uh, but not all the time. I have been on and off to an extent, but I'm trying to stay off. So again, I'm not against people that do decide to take the medication but this is just what I do personally for my subclinical hypothyroidism um, so this depends it depends on the person some people um, they may really need medication but anyways when it comes to this product I feel like um, if you're the type of person that you're very aesthetic and you like to have your product look good and taste good then this is definitely going to be a really great supplement for you. Um, they are like butterfly shaped gummies and I did finish this. Um, I actually finished this one a while ago. I would say probably maybe two and a half weeks ago if not closer to three. I just have not had a chance to do this video but I'm on to a new supplement now because as I told you guys before or if you don't remember haven't seen my other videos on this topic I am trying out quite a few different thyroid supplements to decide which one I like the best and want to stick with, but I am a big believer in consistency, but yet also mixing it up sometimes. Like I think it's great to stick with one particular product or brand, but I do think it's important to mix it up every now and then. Um, so that is what I do, but, um, so these have iodine, ashwagandha, bladder rack, and selenium. So on the front, that is what it says because those are the four ingredients that this product wants to stand out for you. It is a natural apple flavor, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, which are all good things. Um, so iodine, obviously we know you have to have that in a thyroid supplement because um, you need more iodine when you have uh, hypothyroidism. Uh, low thyroid hormone. So it's important that you're getting plenty of iodine. And also the bladder rack contains iodine too. So bladder rack is a seaweed and I have tried that before also. I have purchased that by itself as well as an other supplement. So I am a big fan of it. It's also good for other things. And then um, selenium. Selenium is one of those things that like 
a lot of people are honestly deficient in, especially here in America, and a lot of people do not get nearly the, the selenium that they need. So um, I think it's also like Brazil nuts are really high in selenium, but um, it's important to get that in your diet and also through supplementation. So selenium is also very, very vital for the thyroid. So if you're not getting enough of it, it can definitely cause issues with your thyroid. So ashwagandha is um, an adaptogen. And so it's very important to, you know, take adaptogens because basically they help your body cope with stress and the stresses of everyday life. And it basically helps your body respond to the stress. So that way your body is not feeling the effects like it would if you weren't taking adaptogens. So adapt adaptogens. So on the back, as far as supplement facts, it has a lot of information on here. I'm not going to read every single thing, obviously, but so you take two gummies a day. The container only has 30 in it. Um, so obviously you would, um, this would only be like two weeks worth if you were to take two a day. So some people, one a day might be enough or you might just take one. Um, but I took two. So let's see, as far as what else is in it, we have copper, small amount of copper, a decent amount of manganese at 87%. Um, we have zinc, 364%. Um, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. This is such small writing. So the selenium is 364%, the zinc, is 45% at five milligrams. So um, zinc, really important for the immune system, really important for several different things, um, at least. Iodine, it does have 100% potassium iodide. Then we have vitamin B12, 25 MCG, so that's 1,042%. So with your B vitamins, you wanna get those when you have hypothyroidism because they do help you with your energy levels. So a lot of the ingredients and vitamins and minerals that they put in um, thyroid supplements are also like energy enhancing because um, a lot of people that have hypothyroidism are, uh, or Hashimoto's or whatever you wanna call it. Everyone calls it something different. I just call it hypothyroidism. I, I don't know why, I just don't like the word Hashimoto's, um, thyroiditis, which is technically what it's called. But um, I call it hypothyroidism, but people that have hypothyroidism, most people have some level of fatigue that they deal with. I am fortunate in a sense of, I don't have a lot of that that's related to my thyroid. It's more just related to my stressful everyday life and being a mom and doing all the things that I do. So that's what makes me tired, but not so much my thyroid. Although I'm sure if my levels got out of whack that it probably would over time. Um, sodium, a sodium citrate is, um, it just says less than 2%. So, and then that's basically just like the ingredients in the actual gummy, like putting it together. So it does have like a couple, four grams of sugar um, and 20 calories for a two gummy serving, so. And then um, the ashwagandha, 300 milligrams, schizandra, 240, eleuthero, uh, 100 milligrams, bladderwrack, 100 milligrams, L-tyrosine, 50 milligrams, and kelp, 40 milligrams. Kelp is another seaweed um, that is really good for your health. Kelp does have iodine. For some reason, I find it hard to find kelp in the store, um, but I do like to consume kelp. I don't like it fresh necessarily. I think it tastes very gross to me. I like to cook it, but anyways, kelp supplements are great. I've been taking kelp for a really long time. So also the Eleuthero has been in several different uh, thyroid supplements that I have taken as well. And then we have Shazandra. Shazandra they do put in a lot of these and um, Shazandra is very potent. It's also very energizing. It can also help you. Um, it, it's been shown to help some people lose weight. One time it actually did help me in and of itself to lose a few pounds, which was really nice. Um, it can help rid you of water weight 
as well without being too aggressive. So Shazandra is a great, um, I would say it's definitely in my top 10 at least, if not more like closer to an eight or a nine, um, because I do really believe in the healing benefits of Shazandra. And I used to have Shazandra that I would just drink, like make a tea out of, like actually crush the Shazandra berries and um, drink the tea and kind of eat it like that. So it's very, very beneficial for your vitality. And then let's see the L-tyrosine. Another thing that is essential for the thyroid, L-tyrosine is also um, something they put in a lot of tanning supplements. So like when you're trying to get more color when you're out in the sun or in a tanning bed, it's kind of a controversial topic. I've done several videos on tanning supplements. A lot of people are really like, they think it's crazy because they don't understand. But L-tyrosine is also something that um, goes into quite a few different tanning supplements for the skin. So it's also really good for your skin in terms of just um, your overall skin health as well. But with that being said, again, Thyroid Plus by Habit and Habitat. I did purchase these on Amazon. I believe the product was around $25 to $30 for the 30. Um, is it the most cost effective product? I'm going to say probably no. It depends on how much you budget for your supplements and how much you want to spend and what kind of product that you want. I will say the product I'm taking right now is considerably more cost effective and seems to be just as effective, if not more. However, this is an effective product. This is something I will definitely use again. And that is about it, guys. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video that's a little bit longer. I've got um, several coming. So yeah, uh, things have been a little bit, um, a little bit crazy here. So everybody in my house is sick right now, except for me. I'm really lucky right now. So I don't know if I'm next or if I'm just lucky this time. We'll find out within the next couple days, but wish me luck and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.